Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 20th. We're just going to jump right in here, Virgo, and see what is going on for you. You have this card that says success and pride on it, and this heart card that says love, new love. So there could be a very solid relationship coming in for you. I don't know, a lot of people have been getting a lot of stuff about love at the end of the year. I literally said at the beginning of the year that I felt like the end of the year was going to be full of love, and I was right. So there you go. But you know, what I would say is if you want it, it's here. If you don't, I also feel we are in a time where it's super important that we follow our heart. So anything that you want to accomplish or do anything that your heart is calling you to do, a new beginning, uh, you have this time to go card, which is kind of like my purgatory card. She is in between two worlds on that card. And I'll show you in just a minute. But um you know, she kind of needs, to, it's a card that says, okay, you've, you've spent enough time in the in-between world, and now it's time for you to step into whatever your heart is telling you to do. So even if you do want love, I still feel that all of you should be working towards something. You have the star, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, the star comes up like crazy. I believe it's because, of course, we have Pluto going into Aquarius, and, you know, officially it'll be there next year. And, you know, at the end of basically in November of next year, because uh, it's going to retrograde back into Capricorn once more. But, um, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, to me, the star is about having a North Star, having uh, something that inspires you to action, something that you want to work on. And again, obviously, if it's heart based, then it's going to be much more successful. So you have the Three of Cups. Three Cups is a celebration, and I do get this feeling of like socializing or needing to socialize. Also, if you work in groups here, going to the star, uh, and also to the Eight of Pentacles, uh, this is very good for receiving recognition in work. And, you know, obviously this could be good for getting a raise, a promotion. So if you're waiting for a raise or a promotion, I would do whatever you can to stand out in work because, you know, this type of combination to me represents getting something for getting positive attention, right? So I would do it. You have the King of Wands. I don't know. You always have some sort of fire sign all up in your business. So you know, it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were attracting a fire sign or uh, if there was just someone who is all up in your business, who is all about you, you know, all up in your grill, right? So this person, I get, I just get this vibe of someone who's very attracted to you. I don't know. Are you attracted to them? Probably. I, I don't see this as a bad thing. You have very good cards here. So uh, definitely could be a solid connection if you want love. Um, and, and, you know, again, there are very good love cards here. I also feel this is encouraging you to move towards your star. Uh, you know, again, I think for like the past year and a half or so, you've been working on uh, the energy that you want to be seen as. It's funny, you, you have this uh, chameleon card showing up here, and I love this chameleon card. It says, act as if, but it's literally just a card of you know, displaying the energy that you want. It's it's more than it, it's more than acting as if. It says if you want to be something, just be it, right? You don't. There's no need to fake anything. Just be in the energy of what you want to be, like whoever you want to become, and that's what I feel like is going on here. It's like saying that you know, um, you you just need to be in the energy of what you desire to be. It's it's just that simple. You have the uh, hermit here. The hermit is about kind of letting your star out and. You have this right here. He has the star in his lantern. I feel that this is saying this direction that you need to open up and, sh and blast your star all over the place. There's something that makes you special and the star to me is saying you need to share it. This could be literally or uh, it could just by, be by being a living example, uh, which I think is probably the best thing that we all could do right now is be an example to other people. And you know, that's what I would do. With the Three of Cups, you have the Five of Cups. Um, you know, Five of Cups is a card of disappointment. And so again, some of you could be grieving the loss of something that you no longer enjoy. It is interesting that on a traditional Five of Cups, it is three cups that have spilt over and then you have the two cups behind you. So I feel that some of you could have been dealing with a third party. I do not read Three of Cups as a third party, by the way. I, I know everybody does, but that's not what it represents in the first place. And, um, you know, but again, it could have been a third party. With the... Uh, King of Wands, you have the Fool and the Four of Pentacles. There's something new. You know, if you want love, I feel there's something new coming in for you, but I feel like you have to let go of the past, obviously, Four of Pentacles. The Fool is like saying, when you take a leap of faith towards something new, you're gonna discover something that's like much better for you. So I just see this as a better connection. Uh, for, uh, for all of you, again, I would be just taking a leap of faith towards the star. The star means you need to get attention on something. I feel for some of you that it's almost like, I'm, I'm not saying that you're holding back, but you know, I feel for some of you, you're just not getting enough attention on some sort of hidden talent, gift, skill, or ability you have. You know, it, it's, it's almost as if 
you know, if you're like an artist, you know, I have a friend, right? He was an amazing artist and he was an incredible sculptor. Like, I mean, lifelike, lifelike faces and stuff that he could sculpt out of clay, right? And uh, I went over to his house once and it's like all of his sculptures were hidden behind his couch, you know? And he's like an incredible, like savant level artist, right? But nobody know, knows who he is. And it, not a criticism or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, it's like if he put that out into the world, I mean, like who the hell knows what he could do, right? And maybe he doesn't want to, which is fine. Like I said, and, but, you know, again, I feel, I kind of feel that here, that something needs to uh, be, you know, it's almost like there's something inside of you um, that you're, you know, hiding behind a couch <laughs> that needs to be revealed to the world. With the Hermit, you have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is too many options. I would focus, like, if you're trying to do too much, I feel that could be part of the problem. And the Seven of Cups just says, narrow your focus. Uh, next, in the area of the unexpected, you I'm going to show you this card first. Um, you have this time to go card. This is my purgatory card. She's in this in-between world, but she needs to get to this doorway right here. So I feel for a lot of you, it's time for you to make some sort of change or to get to that doorway uh, to step into a new life. Uh, you have this message in a bottle card. This card is kind of like a card of sending out a message to the universe and receiving an answer. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, maybe you've been praying or hoping for something. There's even a starfish right here. <laughs> so there's like a little star right there. And I feel like the universe has heard your call is what this is saying. And it's just waiting for you to, you know, take action. It's waiting for you to, uh, you know, kind of like expose a certain part of yourself. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups, the star and the strength card. Queen of Cups, again, is a card of following your heart. Your heart is telling you, you know, I think this is true for everyone right now. Our heart, like our heart is telling us one thing, but, you know, maybe society or the need to make money, which is very understandable. Like I understand, yes, we definitely need money to survive, right? It's like our heart, what our heart is telling us to do, maybe in our head, we're like, there's no way I'm going to make money doing this. But really, actually, if you followed your heart, you would make money doing it. So it's kind of, that's kind of like the risk that we all need to take right now is we need to do something. And again, I, I wouldn't take any unnecessary risk. Of, that's not what I'm talking about. You know, I wouldn't just like quit your job and start a business. I would like start it on the side, build it up to a certain point and then quit your job. Of course, like don't take unnecessary risk. That's not what I'm suggesting. But what I would say is, again, I would follow your heart. I would at least get started in that direction. Uh, you have the star. So there are definitely blessings. I'm hearing blessings on this card. I don't necessarily look at the card, the star card as a card of blessings. You know, to me, it's a card of hope, faith, renewal, uh, kind of seeing the big picture. To me, the star is something we work towards. It's not really something we get, but, <laughs> you know, again, I read intuitively. So I do feel that there are blessings coming in for you. I feel like, but again, these blessings are definitely going to come from doing something, you know, your secret skill, that thing that you uh, hide behind the couch, like I said, uh, you know, something that you're really good at. And maybe you don't think you're good at it. And, you know, I, I see that a lot with, you know, is that people have like a skill and they're just born with it and they just don't realize how much of a skill it is. And that's kind of what I feel for some of you. Also going this way, I kind of feel you're going to the 10 of wands. I almost feel that you could be thinking too much about all the moving parts. You know, um, you know, sometimes I feel like the 10 of wands is knowing that you want to create something like a business, a job, whatever. Uh, but then you start thinking 10 of wands. Like you start thinking like, oh, I'm going to have to go file for an LLC. I'm going to have to set up a website. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do that. And so you just think or you're thinking too much about the, the steps instead of just saying, I'm just going to take this first step right here and I'm going to start here. You know, instead of just like breaking it down into the steps, you're thinking of everything at once. And, you know, I kind of feel that I feel that <laughs> for some of you. I totally get it as well. Uh, you have the strength card. So I feel like you've been very patient and it could be a Leo, by the way, coming in for you. It could be any sign, but I feel like you've been very patient and the strength card is a person who has done a lot of work on themselves. You know, this lion, its tail is between its legs because it's done a lot of work on itself. So I feel for a lot of you, it's saying you've kind of tamed your inner beast and now it's time to, you know, elevate to the next level. Let's see. With the Queen of Cups, you have the Emperor. Yes, definitely could be an Emperor, uh, you know, Emperor type person coming in for you. I've never seen the Empress and the Emperor together and reading so much. You don't have the Empress, but it doesn't matter. You know, it, it's crazy to me that they keep coming up for like everyone. So could be attracting a divine counterpart. I also feel it's just saying, take action on your dreams. Uh, the Emperor is about taking action. Uh, with the star, you have the tower. I feel like you could be healing from a tower moment. Whenever we have the tower and the star together, it kind of suggests that you're healing from a tower moment because in the major arcana, we go from the tower to the star. So you could be healing from a tower moment. Um, you know, I also, but I also do feel that this is like part of your old story that keeps getting in the way. Um, <coughs> you know, especially if you've been, you know, sometimes I think we go through something challenging, 
uh, maybe with other people or whatever. And it's almost like we have this uh, guilt or shame is kind of what I'm feeling here for whatever reason. But um, you know, maybe you have guilt or shame uh, surrounding something. I don't know. It's popping to mind as like your business, but you know, whatever, right? And it, I, I feel like you need to work through that. I, I like. I wish I had a good example. You know, um, it's like you know, if someone like yelled at you when you were a kid, right, <laughs> and said, you know, don't do that. It's almost like you're applying that situation to your current situation. But I don't think that's it. It's almost like maybe someone criticized you in business and now it, it's caused you to kind of like clam up a little bit. And I feel like you need to kind of like open up here. Uh, I don't feel good or bad about that, you know, is what I would say. With the strength card, you have the three cups again. Yes, I feel like there are a lot of people that want to help you. I feel like you're surrounding yourself with the right people as well as kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, you have the, uh, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have the seahorse spirit says watch and wait. You have this chameleon, it says act as if. Uh, I'm a big fan of acting as if and, but really I would just become the thing that you want to be, you know? And I always tell people, it's like, literally this has changed my life and it's free, <laughs> is I just started adopting the habits of successful people. It's like, I wanted to become successful on YouTube. I just went and studied other YouTubers. I studied what they did and what made them successful. And I just started implementing the things that I learned, right? And so that's all you have to do is I just started mimicking success, but it's beyond that. It's more about implementing it and putting it into practice, not just changing your color, right? Like a chameleon, right? So what I would say here is that it's like the easiest thing to do is to mimic success. And, you know, it's kind of funny because, you know, the best example I can give you is I always get a ton of questions. Like even when I used to answer questions, I, I used to hear from people all the time. They'd be like, I want to write a book, but I don't know if I should write a book. And I used to be like, well, real writers write. So if you're not writing, then you're not a writer. <laughs> and that's what I say. So whether your book is successful or not should not matter to you. If you want to be something, then you have to do what that thing does, right? And so if you want to be a writer, you have to write. And you know that's kind of what I'm getting here off this chameleon. If you want to be something, it doesn't matter if you're going to find success or not. You need to step into that energy and then you will become it. It's like you can't put the cart before the horse here. And that's kind of what I'm getting. You have the Eight of Pentacles, which is just straight up work. The Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles is the card of the apprentice. So I feel like you need to start putting in the effort and the work. You know, it's funny because I just started doing the 60 day challenge and uh, helping people start their YouTube channel or they're just creating content, right? And not picking on anyone here again, but all the questions that I get in that group are all things that just don't matter. <laughs> and uh, you know, like people asking about hashtags and things like that. I'm like, no, you need to start, like like I said, you need if you wanna be a content creator, you need to start creating content. You need to not worry about all these little things, right? And you know, again, there's like a saying, it's called uh, majoring in the minors where it's like when people start something new, they typically like worry about the stuff that just has like very little effect on what they're doing instead of worrying about the big picture, right? And so I get that feeling from your whole entire reading that the Eight of Pentacles is saying, you know, just get to work, make the mistakes, and then you can fix those minor things later. And you don't need to be perfect right now. And I kind of feel that here on the Eight of Pentacles, for sure, the whole entire reading, really. Uh, you have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is a card of contemplation and apathy. I do feel like past disappointments are kind of affecting everyone right now. The Four, he's got these four cups here. He's manifested those four cups, but he's disappointed with what he has manifested. Uh, the problem is when we get disappointed too many times in a row, I think we just think that we'll never have what we want. So I feel you need to get out of that mindset. Uh, you have the 10 of wands. Again, I do feel like there's work coming in for you. It's almost like you're seeing it. I just see an explosion in my head. You're, you're seeing it as spread out, right? It's almost like you need to use your Virgo brain to put things in order like this, like stacking on top of each other. I don't know why it's popping into my head that way, but I, I feel this reading saying, yes, there's about to be a lot of work for you to do. But instead of thinking it, a, of it as chaos, use your Virgo brain to organize it and just take one step at a time. Don't make it this like big, huge thing that it doesn't need to be, right? And you also don't need to have everything. You know, one thing I've learned, you know, one thing I learned from putting this group together is that I think people think that they have to just, you know, whatever they're trying to accomplish. It's like they think that there are these prerequisites that they have to meet before they can do something. You know, it's like, I guess, you know, I fell in my head when I was 10 years old. So like whatever I hit up here, it removed that from my brain. I just start things. I don't I don't care about like the regular rules, regulations, all that other stuff. Does it get me in trouble sometimes? Sure. But, <laughs> you know, what I would say is at the same time, I get things done, right? So I kind of see that for you here where it's like, you just need to get started, right? Let's see. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Wands. Definitely expansion. Yeah, expansion and growth. So I feel there's a lot of growing going on in like your work, in your efforts and all that other stuff. With the Four of Cups, you have the Page of Wands. Uh, page of Wands, you go like this right here to the, to the Page of Wands, to the Two of Wands. 
a lot of adventure. I believe we're in a time of adventure, uh, and I encourage everyone to pick some sort of adventure right now. I don't care if, you know, this could literally be moving or traveling, but it could also be maybe you are say, you know what, I want to go on the adventure of becoming the best chess player on earth, right? That's an adventure. So it could be learning something as well. And I would just encourage you to pick something. Again, everybody needs a North Star right now, I believe, because of Pluto and Aquarius. And I don't care that's not right there. I always say astrology is like catching a wave. You want to catch the wave early. And so we want to catch this Pluto and Aquarius now. We You don't want to wait like for 10 years, five years, whatever. So if you, the things you start working on now, catching that wave early, you're going to get the benefits earlier, sooner, better. And so I would have some sort of North Star. I would, what does your heart tell you to do? Like, what are you super passionate about? Can you just turn it into a study? Just something you learn about from time to time, right? Like take five minutes out of your day and go learn about chess or, you know, whatever your passion is, right? Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the lovers. Definitely love. I see, I feel you're worried that love is going to be too much work. Or, um, you know, this could be, I kind of get with the four cups here, <coughs> that you do put in a lot of work, like enough for two people. Like you you equal two people, right? <laughs> and I feel this reading is saying that number one, stop over giving. Number two, I do feel like you're going to be attracting a person who also gives a lot. So, you know, I feel that like, like what you want in love exists. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, no matter what shows up here, it's going to be good no matter what. You have this crossroads card. What do you know? You have the lovers. Lovers was traditionally the crossroads. You have this card that says, you'll have to make a very important decision. Is the path you're leaning towards challenging you to grow? Damn. That is the whole entire reading right there. <laughs> is the path you're leaning towards challenging you to grow? I feel this whole entire reading is saying, don't go the easy direction. Take the chaos direction, but put it in order. You have this card that says you are going to make mistakes and it's okay. Yes, eight of pentacles. This is what we were talking about. Sometimes you learn by messing up. Um, if you try to be perfect, then you're not going to make mistakes. You're not going to learn. So, you know, I feel you need to go through the process of learning. Just be the thing that you want to be, right? Uh, you have the five of swords, the ace of pentacles, and the two of wands. I really feel you need to take a risk. The five of swords to me, you know... I personally like the Five of Swords because to me, it's a card taking a risk. Yes, it can represent, you know, being winning at all costs, separation, being in some sort of conflict or whatever, but really it's a card of taking a risk and it's showing up in the good stuff anyway. So, you know, I feel that there's a risk that you need to take. It could be like the risk of exposure, or the risk of, you know, doing the wrong thing or whatever. You know, obviously don't break any laws. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a big opportunity. There's this big opportunity behind your couch. It's like, this is like a quarter in your couch, right? But the quarter is worth, you know, a million dollars or whatever, right? So, <laughs> you know, I feel like you need to scrape up your your statues from behind your couch, like my buddy, right? And you need to go uh, start putting it on Instagram or you need to go get attention on it or, um, you know, you need to act as if, you need to step into the energy of what you really want and then nurture it. Ace of Pentacles is like a garden. You have to water it, weed it, fertilize it, give it sun, you know, all that other stuff. So you really have to nurture something into existence. All, you know, you earth signs, all the energy in Taurus, that's what this is, you know? It, you, you have Uranus in Taurus, Jupiter in Taurus, all that energy in Taurus is really, I believe, encouraging people to work on something that they nurture. And then with Pluto and Aquarius, it's already been into Aquarius, so might as well have already been there. It has been there, right? We already should have something that we nurture. And so I feel that's what this reading is saying. You have the two of wands, yeah, taking the lead. I really feel you are taking the lead in your life. I feel you're feeling, you want to have more control over your life is what I feel like that's saying. And I feel like you're actually getting it or you are creating it. Uh, with the five of swords, you have the queen of cups, all right? Like, are you kidding? <laughs> taking a risk on your heart, right? Taking a risk on what your heart is telling you to do. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Four of Wands. Yeah, it could be marriage coming in the future. I don't really see this as a love reading. You know, obviously it's just a weekly reading and, you know, you can have love whenever you want, but, you know, it could be marriage potential, like an opportunity for marriage in the future with a person. Uh, with the Two of Wands, you have the Moon card, not being sure what to do. Nobody knows what they're doing right now, so I feel like you need to do it anyway, but the Moon is coming up in the good stuff, so, you know, that could represent mysteries being revealed or kind of like understanding like new directions or new things that you want to do in your life is what I would say. Uh, we're pulling five main themes. You have this Gong card. It says an exciting event. I do feel there's a lot of excitement in this reading because of the star, so I would follow your excitement. Uh, you have this April card. I always clarify these monthly cards and this wreath card. It says sorrow over loss. I'm wondering if you experienced a loss in the month of April. Uh, you know, I, it's kind of funny because if you experienced a loss with a person, I feel like deep down inside you knew that things weren't necessarily going to work out. Like I'm not saying that we should, you know, de be defeatist or anything like that, right? But, you know, I feel that, I feel that energy of, you know, just 
kind of like wanting to be wrong, but being right. <laughs> and so I don't know. I feel like this was to teach you to be, to listen to your intuition. Uh, you have this axe card. It says forces working against you. I feel like you felt like this for a long time. Remember what we were talking about? Something that made you feel shame or made you feel clammed up or something like that. You know, I feel like you're kind of healing from that situation. Although I feel like there's still worries because you have this fair man. It says dealings with relationships with a man with blonde, gray or white hair. And then you have a stagger. It says fears, worries, tense situation. So I, I feel like you need to let these like fears go. And even better than that, you have this angel card as your last card that says spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So I feel like you're protected from anything uh, like this that could happen. But uh, overall, really good reading. I feel this is really saying you need to step into that energy and you know just be the thing that you want, right? Um, but it looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.